What is up guys? Thank you for tuning in. I know it's been some time, but let me just say happy holidays and a very happy new year's to all of you. I hope you guys had an amazing time with family and friends. You were safe, you were responsible, you were glam and all those other good things. This year, let me tell you, I'm gonna make a video on goal setting for 2018. I have so many things on my list and I'm so, so, so excited that 2018 is here and we are ready to hit the year running. So, First video of the year is going to be this amazing look that I have on right here. It's still a little bit festive, but I honestly feel like you can bring reds into like an all year thing. I don't know, comment below if you agree with me. Reds can be an all year thing. This red in particular is definitely my new all time favorite. It is the Fenty Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Uncensored. I just got mine in the mail today, finally, and I have to say I am thoroughly impressed. The same way I was with the foundations and everything else that is coming out in her line, she has done a phenomenal job, so Miss Rihanna, Mwah. This lipstick is a universal red from what I have read on the reviews and things like that The only little critique I would have is that the applicator is a little bit hard to get used to but other than that It is a bomb color. I love the packaging. It actually looks like a nail polish to me So if you guys want to see how I got this look, it's super simple I'm also gonna put a link down below because I know you guys like when I wear this kind of hair I've started to notice so I did put a link down below for you guys to pick yours up Amazon is actually selling them cheaper than what I paid for this hair so take advantage now while you can if you like this little sleek little bob thing I got going on definitely check out the link below comment like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're new welcome if you've been a family member for a minute welcome back thank you so much for your support in 2017 and I'm so excited for you guys to see what I have for the next year so without further ado let's get into it Couple so first things first, we are going to start with our eyebrows. I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pencil in medium brown and using this Essence Eyebrow product to fill in any sparse areas. Next, you guys kind of know how I like to prime my lids. I'm using my Hourglass Foundation Stick, buffing that out just to neutralize and act as a base. I want to be free, yo. I only come around if you feel so. Now you and me both know since last week. So next I'm going to be using my Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow um, palette or duo, I guess you could call it. I'm just using these two colors here. So I'm using this caramel color just to add a little bit of depth to my crease and blending it out. And next I'm going to use the lighter color of the two and add that to my lid. Just make sure you're really blending because that's really all this eye look consists of. Next for my skin, I'm combining two foundations, my L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour um, foundation along with my Milani foundation. The reason being is the L'Oreal is a little lighter as you can see and the Milani foundation is a little bit darker, but the two together really complement my skin and I like the overall look. To highlight my under eyes and brighten them up, I'm going back to the same hourglass foundation stick I used to prime my eyes and just placing that in my usual spots. Once my highlight is set, I like to use my L'Oreal, no not L'Oreal, my Laura Mercier translucent powder to bake my face. While my skin is baking, I'm going to go in with this Sephora bronzing powder. It's actually a foundation powder, but I just got one that was a few shades darker than me, and I'm using that to contour my cheeks. When that's all done, I'm going to go into my Cover FX uh, foundation powder and I'm going to just brush away that translucent powder that we used to set and add this in. This is just going to take away any white kind of shadowy or paleness that the translucent powder might have left behind. And of course, we're going to go in with a blush. This is Raisin by MAC and add a little bit more color back into our face. This ain't new to me. Yeah, it ain't new to me. You give me that low key. Now initially I thought I wanted to go a little bit more subtle with my highlight, but you guys know me and you know I love my highlight, so this was just step one. You can totally leave it at that, but you know I had to go in with a gold or something a little bit more extra, if you will, and just amp it up just a little bit more for you. Going back into my eyeshadows, I'm just using that same brown color or caramel color if you will 
just to add to my lower lash line and I actually added this deeper red color too just to kind of add a little bit more of a pop of color. Now this, although it looks super uncomfortable, is super effective if you have little to no eyelashes like I do or just very thin lashes. So I'm taking my eyeliner and just going across my upper lid in the waterline area to make it look like my lashes are a little thicker and it also helps to hide the band of your lashes. I actually learned this from Makeup by Shayla. If you take your eyeliner or even if you have like a felt eyeliner and just put a couple dots on your lower lash line, it'll just make your eyelashes look a little bit thicker and darker. Now if you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, you guys know I like to change up my hair and in order to do that, I like to wear wigs, but I have never filmed a video on how I apply them and make them look a little bit more natural. So if you guys would like to see my like wig reviews and how I wear them and how I apply them to look as natural as possible, leave a comment down below and I will make sure that I get one filmed for you. Now this is actually the Pièce de Résistance. Um, look at this color. Like I said in the beginning, it is a universal red, so it's going to look amazing on absolutely everyone from every complexion. I just don't have enough words to describe how much I love it. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I hope you liked it, I hope I inspired you, and I hope you guys let me know what you think down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you again so much for the support last year, and I'm so excited to see where we end up this year. Until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, ready to shoot.